committed to keeping you on your Our sole purpose is helping our patients. Our facility provides only five days away from a new year, which means new laws will go into effect. Alabama's permitless carry law is one of the more notable laws going into effect. This law will allow you to carry a concealed firearm without needing a permit. WAFF 48's Matthew King is live in Huntsville. Now, Matthew, you talked to a gun store owner and a lawyer about how they expect this law to play out. Well, Sean, the new law will add a few changes, but local experts want you to know what hasn't changed going into this new year. Gun enthusiasts congregate at indoor ranges like bullet and barrel. When they do, General Manager Lewis Southard fills them in on the new laws coming in 2023. We, we get asked about it frequently, and we simply just inform them that now the requirement to have a pistol permit is no longer a requirement. Even though the law generally allows you to walk around with a loaded gun, there are still places you can't carry a gun. Places where you, you shouldn't, uh, schools, courthouses, hospitals, and that's kind of a carryover from the permit, pistol permit, which is not going away. There still be the option for the pistol permit. Attorney Mark McDaniel says this still applies if you're traveling out of state. People think, okay, now I can just carry it anywhere. I can do whatever I want to. No, you can't. The law has not changed at all about where you can and cannot carry that firearm. You may not have to have a permit, but there are places you cannot carry that that firearm. He says the law gives the impression of more freedoms, but it's more important to note that the permit is the only change. While it sounds like on its face, okay, I can carry this, I, I, I'm free to carry this gun, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. No, domestic violence you convictions, you, you, can't, you can't carry a firearm. Any felony conviction, you can't carry a firearm. None of that, none of that changes at, at all. Southern, a Second Amendment advocate, believes the new law will encourage ownership of firearms. So this is allowing folks to be able to protect themselves in more places, which is always a good thing because, again, the people who abide by the laws are the ones who are impacted by the laws the most. Well, McDaniel also told me, of course, this permit is optional. However, he says if you do continue to keep that permit, it could help you if you've been pulled over by a law enforcement officer and that gun is in your car. Now, this law goes into effect this Sunday. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matthew King, 48, on your side. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, the one I said, Head Elders and Apostles, a great millstone who rule and teach well. I also want to give a shout out that to the whole elect, to your occupants, you Akwath, who are sincere in the truth, as well as the believers of the word, not just believers, but those as well. And again, to you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right. You know, just uh, going to be another quick lesson, man, as always, through the spirit of power, Yahweh, by Shabbat and the Lord willing, it's edifying. Now, usually something like this, I just make it, you know, uh, real quick, another episode real quick, you know, one scripture, that's it. But I, I'm actually going to get a few scriptures on this, man. All right? <laughs> as you see, you know, here in the state of Alabama, they're coming out with a new law, you know, the um, you don't need no permit. To carry a pistol No longer man Alright and that ain't gonna do nothing But just make shit worse Alright <laughs> That's all it is You know especially with these nigglets Around here man Alright in, in, in the state of Alabama Alright That's just a, you know Just give you know These niggas more access To a, 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 a sword man Alright the modern day sword Which we know is the gun man all right, now let's let's get a few scriptures real quick. Let's get um. Oh, it's locked here. Let me find it. Ezekiel seven and five. Thus said the Lord Yahweh. An evil and in an only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come, all right? And my main point is the evil, man. Evil and only evil. That's what's to come upon Babylon the Great, bro. 
evil and only evil. Nothing good is coming to come to this place, man. It's gonna come to this place. All right. And if you ain't, we ain't forgot about that. Um, you know that 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 um that law as well. In um uh, Chicago too, man. January the first, <laughs> the purge. <laughs> you see, Lord, Lord is really setting the scene up, man. All right. He's really setting the scene up, and he's using Esau Eden to do it, man. He's using his, his, his devil to do it, man. But back here, you know, in, in the state of Alabama, everybody's getting access to carry a gun, man, without a, per a permit. All right? Which is just going to make shit worse because if you consider the crime rate today, man, that shit is, is through the roof. Completely through the roof, man. All right? And we're in that time where many are uh, becoming lovers of themselves. All right, matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Second Tim three and one. All right, there's no also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, or holy. All right, and, and again, men, we're, we're in that time when men are becoming lovers of themselves, so people it is really. You know, it's not going to give a, give a fuck, man. I'm just being honest. You know, especially when that famine start to kick in. You see? And here it is. You have everybody got access to a, a, a pistol now. To where, where that's prophecy where they gonna, they shall ravage the houses. No, spoil the houses. Matter of fact, let me, let me get it. Instead of butchering it. Let me get it. Second Andrews 15. I think it's uh, 19. Yep. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Again, the modern day sword it is the gun. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread for great tribulation. So, a lot of people are going to be, you know what I mean, uh, uh, fuck, man. You know? Hey, excuse my language, but hey, it's the truth. Because the times we're coming into, we can, we can barely imagine, man. All right? We can barely imagine how bad it's going to be, man. Because it's going to be things going on out here that, that none have ever seen before, man. All right? And again, the Lord is just setting up the stage. What is it said? The end, it watch it for thee. You see? The Lord is setting it all up. And many of you niggas are... Uh, 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 are not going to be ready. You're not going you're not going to be prepared at all. Whether you got a gun, you can even have a gun, man, or you can have food stacked up. You're not going to be prepared because you didn't you didn't put on the armor or your how about shoot you out shot. You know, a lot of you niggas you, you you trust in your arm, you know, meaning your own strength. You know, the scripture talked about that. War to you who trust in who trust in man and trust his own strength. Matter of fact, what is that? Uh, I believe it's Jeremiah 17 and 5. Yep, God. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make his flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Yeah, man. Cursed be the man that trusted in man. Yeah. Cursed be you niggas, man. And, 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 hey, man, you gonna, you gonna see it in that day, man. When the Lord had, what, those plagues hit your ass? <laughs> Because you didn't consider the times. Because you didn't prepare yourself. Alright. What's that? Make flesh his arm. You know, it's going to you niggas trusting your own. You know, you, you, you're trusting in yourselves. Alright. You're trusting in your own strength. And therefore, if you trust in your own strength and you trust in man, Esau, Edom, his system, then your heart is going to depart from the Lord. Alright. And we know that word heart goes into the Hebrew word what? Lob, which means your mind. Your mind is going to continue to depart from the Lord. And that's two-thirds of our people. It's to the fact that they don't even, they don't even consider your how about Shemi Yahushua when trouble come in, man. All right? Therefore, you're going to be taken. You, you ready for the taking? <laughs> Ezekiel 7 and 14. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready. But no but none go to the battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. 
And yeah, the the, the Star Wars head elders and apostles of great men starting on down, as well as the light minded brothers, you know, they have been blowing the trumpet. The prophets have been blowing the trumpet to make all ready, but none of you going to battle. None of you are preparing yourselves for what's about to come to Babylon the Great, man. All right, verse 15, the sword is without the and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him, man. And that's just thus said the Lord, man. You niggas are going to get caught up in the Lord's wrath, man, in that day. And again, going back. Let me see. They ain't even got the article. Let me see. Yep. Going back to the article. Lord is setting up the scene, man. All right. And the Lord willing, I'm going to leave it at that. Lord willing, it was edifying. Till the next time I say shalom.